haul without further ado i'm just gonna get into it because i don't have a lot of memory card space and i want to try and keep this video short so let's see what we can do shall we start with fancy pins quite a few of these pins that you'll see today have either been pre-trades or they've been held over a couple of months or weeks um just to maximize on shipping and that sort of thing so let's start with the brand kelly lou she uh does um wizarding inspired pins um other like really cute ones and also disney ones um i got a couple of uh, pins from her second sale that she did so the first one i got was the ormen or a more tentia oh i can't say that word but basically the love potion and i love any sort of like pastel pin uh so i got that one and then i got this one which has one of my favorite potter characters which is lupin and he's saying ridiculous which is something me and darren find hilarious to say to each other um so i knew i had to get that pin and they were slightly cheaper because they were second sale um which just means that they might not be like amazingly perfect um they might have a little dip in the paint or something like that so got those i also then got um some of her uh magical knits so you could get one three or five i believe and they were mystery so this was the pack that i got so i got the purple weasley's jumper uh, from their shop i got the happy birthday and then i got the night bus i am thinking about trading or selling this one so if you're interested let me know i would quite like to get the honey dukes jumper i think that would be pretty cool but i thought that was quite a good pull as far as like the knit jumpers go um that is all the jumpers that are available uh so yes so keep an eye on her page if you're interested in those we then have three from annie mag Annie Magus Co, um, which again, it's hard for me to say. Um, there is a Lupin one, which I would quite like to get, but I thought um, when I saw the second sale and these ended up being like the cost of one pin normally, um, I knew I had to get them. So they do a series of character pins. And of course I had to get the Golden Trio. So you've got uh, Granger there and it's got glitter. It's got like the Time Turner and a potion. You've then got Weasley with his rat and uh, like the chess piece. And then you've got Potter with the snitch and his letter. So yes, like I said, I would like to get Lupin. They've just come out with a series of um, Professor pins as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next ones have only recently come in. These are by uh, Sword and, Swords and Tiara's Shop. Uh, these are limited edition of 50 and I've been waiting quite a while for these. Um, these are the Aristocats pins. So it was a series of three. These are really pretty. Um, definitely think I'll be keeping these. Um, so that was the Marie. You then have Toulouse and you have Berlioz. So very excited to have the full set because there is nothing I hate more than not having one of the kittens. So yes, I am very excited to keep those in my collection. Okay, what else have we got? Next, we have one from my, well, a few from one of my very favorite, um, like Disney inspired uh, shops. Um, and this is, I believe her name's Stella and Badgers or Stella Badgers. I'm not quite remember, but if you put that in, you're more than likely gonna find her. Um, but um, I got these two pins. So this pin she's had on for a while. I think it has sold out now. But it is a very simple Votes for Women uh, banner, um, like a sash um, that Mrs. Banks wears. So I thought that would be great for my Mary Poppins board. And then this is a honker of a pin. And I'm not sure whether I want to keep it or not. Because I do have her drawing of the kids already. Like the pins of her of the kids um but this is the scene where they're all like tidying up the nursery it is like a really big pin if you see by my hand um so yeah and it is pin on pin this is a series of pop pins that she's come out with um i think one of the best ones she did was the first one where um mary poppins is in the clouds unfortunately i missed out on that um but yes i think this is really super sweet and like the wallpaper has little spoons on it and there's a little Winnie the Pooh up there and a Luxor ball um, or a Pixar ball. So, yes, I got those two and excited to see the rest of the collection, especially the ones of like Mary and Bert when they jump into the picture. I think that would be really cool. 
and then I have this mad unicorn pin this again was a pre-sale this is one of I think this was the variant um there's two there's one that's like a slightly darker teacup but all this is like stained glass in blues and um, I'll take it off so this is um the Yule Ball like centerpiece uh teacup and again I love pastels I have quite a few from mad unicorn um it's just beautiful i don't know if you're going to be able to see that stained glass behind it super pretty um i would quite like to get the other one of them um just to have both but for now i have this one and there's a couple other pins that she's recently just released um i have become part of their patreon which is where you can get an exclusive badge um like a wand badge and a like like a Bertie Bot's bean every month um so I have signed up for that and that was quite a reasonable price um because I just love her pins so I got that one my last fantasy pin to show you this is a honker of a pin this is by Archimedes part of the Tamer of B series limited edition of 60 this is the back of it so it's got some little books and then his logo this is super pretty I ready it is Belle. So the background is almost just like a printed background, like a photograph. And then Belle is all cut out pin on pin. And then in the corner as well, you have these tiny little blue gems. So that will be perfect to go on my board um, of Belle in her blue dress reading books. So yes, I was excited to get that one. Um, again, that was a pre-sale pin. On to authentic pins. This is the final mini main attraction set that came out in December. I knew I wanted to get my hands on this because I love the fireworks at Disney. And I thought all three pins were very cute. So you've got the ears which are a little bit sparkly you've got mini and then you've got the castle with the fireworks and there's also a hidden mickey there so the only other one i have kept from this set is a space mountain set and i think this will just be really cute um because i love the fireworks so much and i had to also get the matching mug let me take this out to show you i'm so hesitant to like actually use this but now i filmed the video i feel like i am gonna actually use it uh, this is the mug so it's got the glittery bow and this glitter's not going to come off with the castle in the middle and then you've got the fireworks all around it like that so yeah a very cute mug and now i film this i can get to using it so i'm pretty sure all the rest of these pins were acquired from live sales um so if you don't know what live sales are basically there are a couple of people on facebook and instagram that are like pretty much do this as their job they are collectors of pins and they run live sales every week um and i will name the people as i go along but um it's i found especially in 2020 it was a lovely place to go to each week for a little bit of community um you got to talk to other people about pins and it was just that like familiarity you know we weren't getting out much so like seeing these people every week and obviously it fueled my pin addiction which was not good and i definitely need to curb it um but yeah let's get into the pins so the first few pins are from uh Disney Pin Trader UK, I believe on Instagram. Um, she's a really good one if you want UK pins. Um, she does a lot of like new pins and then like harder to find pins. Um, this was one that came out, it is licensed by Disney, but it's by Fabric Flavors. Um, and it's part of their Disney Classic series. And I had to get the Aristocats one. I think there's an Ariel one and like a Rapunzel one, uh, but I had to get the Aristocats. And I just thought it was so cute how Duchess is sleeping with Marie. So I picked that one up. So then these other three pins I managed to get in one of her live sales. Um, you have to be really quick and on the ball with her live sales because it is on Instagram and you just have to like stalk the page and it's literally whoever comments first. And it can be really difficult um, even if you look first on your screen. And this is the same with Facebook. Um, even if you look first on yours, you're not necessarily first on theirs. So I was surprised to get all three of these pins, but they knocked some grails off for me. 
So this first one is one I've been wanting for a while. This is a lounge fly pin, which I don't have too many lounge fly pins, um, but I didn't want, I like, I wanted to pay a good price for it. I didn't want to pay over the odds. Um, so this is a Rapunzel and Miko pin, or not Rapunzel, a Pocahontas pin, sorry. Uh, and it's got the wreath of flowers and then she's actually um, a dangle. Um, so I thought that was quite fun. You do see her and Miko in, in the boat quite a lot, but I thought this was like a different take on it. I then got this Happy Hanukkah pin, which I have my Hanukkah pin, like, uh, this is my little banner. I have just a little sneak peek. Um, ready for this pin to go on. This was, what year was this? 2017, I believe. This definitely isn't the backing card it should be on, I don't think. Um, but it is Chippendale. And yes, I do collect Hanukkah pins, so I got that one. And then I got this one, which I've been umming and ahhing whether I wanted for months um, because I think it's super cute, but I'm not one for Christmas pins or Christmas pins with dates, but I can't resist this one. So this is from 2019. It is limited edition and it is this bell. So they did bell um, ornaments, um, pins for every uh, Walt Disney World resort. They also did um, obviously one for like Alani and Disneyland. But this is the Port Orleans one. Um, and you have a little spinner in it and it reveals the kittens. So I think I will probably keep this on my cat's board. I don't think it will stay like, I don't have a dedicated Christmas section. So I think it like the colors don't make it look like stand out Christmassy. So I got that one. So those were the three I got from Disney Pin Trader UK. So the next two again were a live sale. This is from DP UK, um, or like it was on one of the members um, held a live sale on the group. And this is uh, the first pin. This is from Hong Kong. And this is part of this banner series that they released last year, um, like for each different um, month or like season. So this is um, the one that has like the cherry blossoms and the Sakura, um, really, really pretty pins. Um, you could hang them. And um, actually what made me wanting to collect them is there is a winter ice skating one and someone had hung it on their Christmas tree and I just loved it. So there's a couple others that I wanna get in this series. I don't often collect Mickey and Minnie, um, but sometimes, you know, a pin just comes. I mean, I do collect Mickey and Minnie, but not like, it's usually part of another like group in a way which I mean you'll see later on but um yes I don't actively search out Mickey and Minnie pins but I got that one and it looks like something's actually like landed on Mickey's nose there which is quite funny so I got that one and then I believe the other pin I got was this one which is an absolute grail I couldn't believe I got it um it was more pricey than I wanted to pay well it was more part like the pin itself or the price for the pin was a good price um and the fact that it was in the uk was a bonus so i didn't have to pay like us shipping um but you know it was more than i'd like to have paid on the day um and it is this this was part of the mother's day series that they came out with at disney studio still hollywood they did a mother's day and like a father's day set and obviously this is duchess with the kittens so you don't tend to see a lot of pins with duchess with the kittens especially this one of them in their basket and it's got a lovely like frame around it as well so yes i was excited to add that to my collection there is a lot of aristocats pins i'm just like noticing these two pins i think i actually traded from someone here in uh, the uk these are two just open edition paris pins they're pretty easy to get um but they were ones that i again wanted to acquire but I didn't necessarily want to go ahead and buy them. I wanted to see if I could trade for them. So I love any pins that have sort of flowers on them. So we've got these two matching pins. Uh, so you've got Duchess and Marie and they are with roses. And I just thought they're very cute, quite simple pins. Um, but again, I like the little flower element to them. So they will look very cute on my board. Shall we stick with Aristocats? I got this one. Um, again, I think I traded for it. This I've been looking for for so long and I really didn't want to buy it for ages and then it became really hard to find. So um, I got this, which is the vintage vinyl. So I already had the Mary Poppins, which I showed, I think in my last video, but this is the Aristocats one. 
So there we go. And it has like the little vinyl that comes out. It just says Walt Disney's Aristocats. And you've got some of the scat cats on the vinyl there. I love vinyls and I think these look really, really cute on your board. Um, yeah, so I'm pleased to have completed the two that I wanted out of that collection. Another live sale was from Pinsane Pins. They're quite a big like pinning Facebook group um, and they don't do pin sales that often, but they did one before Christmas um, and I was able to get these two pins and one of these pins is an amazing like grail pin and they were able to let me do it on a payment plan um which i don't recommend doing very often i definitely try not to do this with pins because um you know you don't want to be in debt to anyone with pins um but they were really super great with letting me you know pay a little bit each week or each month and it was enabled me to get a pin that i probably wouldn't have got otherwise because it would have been too much to purchase all at once that being said i'm going to show you the other pin first that i got so this was the other pin that i got from them this is the food and wine festival from 2009 it was a cast member of pin le 500 and this is the swedish chef so this was on my iso list and i love the swedish chef i collect muppets pins um i'm not that fast that it's got all this food and wine festival down below um even though i didn't go that year but um yes that will be added to my muppets collection and then the big grail pin i got was this one it's actually not that big of a pin but this is from the soda fountain um or as it was then it's the studio store hollywood um this is le of let's have a look i think this was the surprise pin so they usually will do a drop and this was back in the day where people could queue up outside the shop um and they would um release you know usually a surprise one on the day this was le 300 so let me get that on the card to show you and again this is going on my bell board this is bell in the library just having a grand old time with the books so there's a couple pins out there that look like this there's like a really massive jumbo like slider one which is super cool but these are really hard to find and really expensive so when i knew i could do it on a payment plan i was like that's probably the only way i'm ever going to be able to afford it so um yes i enjoyed that and would recommend pinsane pins as well okay so i have this one this is from the music to my ears collection and i have got the mary poppins one which i've showed you in a past video this is limited edition of 800 and i believe this came out um at the employee center i want to say it's disney theme parks cast exclusive um and this is obviously for frozen so on the front you have the snowflake cut out into this um sheet music you've got olaf and the little snowman and then you open it up and you've got anna and elsa and it's a really quite lovely um like drawing of them it's not like just a, a printed on photo um so yes i don't collect i'm quite picky with my frozen pins i would say um but yeah this one i thought was too cute and me and Darren recently rewatched Frozen and like I got an all new appreciative for it. So I got that one. I then have this one, which I like um, to collect Stitch as Elvis pins. I don't have a lot. Um, it's only if one like specifically takes my fancy. Um, and this is a Vegas store exclusive, but it is an open edition pin, but I don't know if they do it anymore it doesn't have a date on the back but this is um stitch is elvis and it's got las vegas at the bottom i have a couple vegas disney pins and stitch is elvis pins and you know i love elvis me and darren got married in vegas so uh when i saw this pin and i've been looking at it on and off for the best part of last year so um when i finally had a little bit extra money i decided to get it okay what else we have this one, which I have the penguins one of this, um, and this one popped up, and I was like, okay, let's see if we can get that one. Um, this um, was released for the 55th anniversary of Mary Poppins. I'm going to need a bigger Mary Poppins board at this rate, uh, but it's Mary and Bert, like, over London. It's a really lovely uh, pin, especially if anyone clicks, like, British or London-esque pins. So, yes, I got that one. And speaking of uh, the cats, I have this one. 
uh, to add to an existing collection. I already have Duchess Marie and Toulouse. So now we have Berlioz. And there is a couple different variants of this, um, including the ones that were error pins that were made. This isn't the best looking Berlioz pin, like face wise, but he's part of the collection. So I like it that it's got their names on it. So the only one I need to finish this one now is uh, the O'Malley pin. So um, the next pin is this one. This is also actually from Disney Pin Trader UK. This is, um, I believe it's either a Shanghai. Yeah, it's a Shanghai pin. And they came out with these last autumn, I believe, for Duffy and Friends. And each uh, character was in a basket with different fruit. This is the Shelley May pin and she is surrounded by grapes. And one of the pins that I'm about to show you in a minute sparked me wanting to collect this whole series. Um, I have another one being held, which is the Olu Mel pin. And I think the only other one I need to track down is... The so the cat is called Gelatoni, so that is the other one that I'm on the hunt for. But these two started it off, um, most particular this pin. So these were all bought from, um, it's on, they run a live sale on Streaming with the Magic. It's held by Molly and Joe Ludwig. Um, they're really great. I like tuning into their vlogs um, or their live streams each week. And this was the pin that set it off for me. It is the Stella Lou pin and she is surrounded by carrots. I have fallen in love with Stella Lou as a character. I think she's super cute. And now I think we're on a side collection hunt for more pins of her. I just think she's adorable. And they also had the um, little dog one with cherries. The dog is called Cookie, I believe. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I just need to find the cat. Um, and I have also got the Duffy Bear one coming my way at some point I believe. So the rest of these pins I believe were all from various um, live sales but they were all held for me so I only had to pay like one shipping cost. Uh, so the first one is this one. This is another lounge fly pin and this is the Miko uh, Big Feet pin. I'm trying to not get my face in it. And yeah so super super cute and I like the fact that he still looks like an original Miko. He's not like really warped or like cutie or anything he's just Miko with big feet so I got that one and then we have this one which is a tiny kingdom pin super super tiny but this actually represents the carousel of progress um this was from I think the first or second Walt Disney World series I think um and yeah so it's not the most aesthetically pleasing little pin but um yeah it is making my way to be a completist for Carousel of Progress. And then I have this one, which is one of my favorite attractions. This is the little people mover. So I don't have many people mover pins, if any. Um, so this is a little cute one to add to my collection. And it does say people mover in really tiny lettering at the bottom. And then I got these two pins, obviously in the same sale. So you've got the little carousel, and I'm going to put this on my Mary Poppins board because I think it just fits perfectly. And then you have the other Carousel of Progress one. So it's the old school sign that they used to have outside it, and then Rover the dog. And he's in his little bow, so it must be from the Christmas scene. So again, another pin for my Carousel of Progress. And then we have these two. So we have, this is a lounge fly one. This is a Forky pin. It says Forky, trash not toy. And I've actually weeded through my Forky pins and have a couple that are up for sale. So if you're interested, you can always leave me a comment or follow me on Instagram. It's linked below. Um, but yes, got that Forky pin. And then I got this Mickey Mouse pin to go in my space collection. So I have a space board. It's like Space Mountain, Mission Space, and then just general space themed pins. Um, I think this must have just been an open edition from like 2003, I think. So I have that pin. And then the final pin is another Muppets pin to add to my board. This is really exciting. I had the chance to buy this a couple months back, like early on in 2020. And it wasn't in the best condition so I left it and I'm glad I did because I actually got this for quite 
a good price and it's in better condition and this is um the pin that commemorates uh, Muppets 3D at Walt Disney World so you've got uh, Kermit there in his uh, glasses you've got the little 35 there so maybe it's for the 35th anniversary um, does that work out right? yeah I suppose it does 1991 I guess was when it came out you've got um, the um, what is he like He's like a bird that like changes all the time um but he's like a pin on pin he's not like moves or anything um and this is commemorates 35 years of magical fun at the walt disney world resort with this 36 pin collection 1991 muppet vision 3d opens featuring sensational in theater effects guests first entered muppet labs at this disney mgm studios attraction on may 16th 1991 um, and does it say yeah limited edition of 2500 and it also has like the dangly little bit at the bottom with the Muppets 3D so that is the pins that I had to show you today I will say pins will probably I hopefully will slow down as far as me buying them because I'm really trying not to spend and it's difficult and I say this in like every haul video but if you don't know me I have compulsive buying disorder I've done a couple of videos on it I'll try and link one in a card um but we're working on it is what I'll say but I hope you enjoyed seeing this video with all these lovely lovely pins now it's time for me to spread them out on my pin boards make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future pin related videos or Disney videos in general and I will see you very soon bye guys